Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen Exo. And yes, we're not in VR mode for this episode, chums. Hey, look at that. We've got one creature chasing another there. I wonder if one of them's predatory. Let's give it a scan. I think so. Yeah, run, little guy. Run, little guy. He's going to get you. Anyway, yes, we're not in VR. Because at the moment there's a problem with building in VR. It comes up with that you've reached your base confines and limits after you've just put down one thing. And yes, of course, I've got to actually build a new base. So I've put down a base computer, at least I believe I have, somewhere around here. Where's my base computer? I, I'm sure I put down one. Yep, it's just there. So I'm going to be building a base just around here. So I will put it somewhere away, away from the beacon, perhaps. So maybe this side. Let's go this side, where we've got a nice little bit of a view. So I want to raise this base up slightly. So I'm going to be putting down, hopefully, a girder which I don't have, <laughs> so yeah, I won't be putting down a girder, I'm just going to be put, building down some flat sheets by the looks of things. So yep, let's put that about here, I think. Yep, about there. Lovely jubbly, I can build 31 of these. Now I'm not going to go super big, because I just have to meet the, um, the requirements. Uh, why is that not letting me build there? That's bizarre. It lets me put it there, but it won't let me put it there. Why the frick not? There's no reason why it shouldn't be able to go there. Invalid position. It really isn't. It really isn't an invalid position. That just sucks. Okay, right, so let's uh, try that again. Let's uh, try mining the stuff that's underneath it. Let's see if that helps. Not that one. I want my mining being first of all. Let's get rid of all this blue stuff. Let's see if that makes any difference at all. Right. I think we're good. Right, so let's go back to floor panel. There we are. That's what it was. It didn't like the blue stuff. Okay, cool. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. I don't know why it didn't just blow it up like it did that bush that I just put down. You see that? Okay, base computer is now online. So I guess I've put down enough parts to qualify as a base. Man. Okay, uh, righty-ho, let's go this side. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing now. There we are. Right, now let's stick in some walls. Now, for this to work, really, it needs to be too high, because I'm going to be putting some base computers in here. Oh, we have rain! Okay, I didn't think there was any storms on this planet. Exo, did you just, did you actually warn me of a storm incoming? It's raining, Captain Steve. Okay, hazard protection, fair enough. Let's just build a, a, pretty much a shed, basically. Yeah, so Exo seems to warn me after the effects, but yeah, at least it kind of worked. Right, we need some more carbon, so we've got to mine some of these trees. I'm sure that was on the mining beam when I started out. Oh well. Diddly day. Mine, diddly mine. Let's grab some of this. So yeah, as your beam gets hotter, so you see at the top there, if I just could squeeze the trigger, if I can keep it up at that sort of level of heat, I'm going to be doing a lot more damage. But that said, if you melee things now, you see I was doing like, what, a couple of hundred damage there. Well, meleeing does like 300 of damage. Well, it does in VR. Let's see what we get now. I'm doing 110, which is about what I was doing at the top end of my mining beam. So you may as well just punch the trees down. And I think you actually get a little bit more carbon in doing so anyway. So eventually this will smash. There we are. Load of carbon. It might take a little bit longer. But there we go. It's all good. Smash the trees with your the butt of your multi tool, and everything's good. Joy of joys, yeah. Right, I'll smash this one down. Then I'm going to go take shelter in my um, in my ship for a bit because this is a bit of a nasty storm. Oh yeah, I can't actually do the melee st stealth jump yet. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Yep, I took some damage. Okay, let's get in my ship, and recover a bit. And yeah, we will continue building the base out. Okay, well, the storm has passed. So, Exo, what are you thinking of this beautiful planet, my little chum? What are you thinking? 
Despite there being no water, the landscape is quite lush, with quite large mountainous type areas, and the grass has lots of different hues and colours. I'm really liking this planet, Captain Steve. Yeah, sex. I, I have to agree. The terrain is beautiful. Um, yeah, with the hilly mountains and stuff, excellent. I could do with some some glass to actually take in the actual views, couldn't I? Really, but yeah, I'm going to have to get myself some silver or something to craft into the glass. But I don't think I'm going to get the recipe for the glass for a while. Oh, look at that! I've run out of carbon already. Mental. Let's go punch some more trees or bushes. You can punch bushes as well. Bushes are all good. Yep. So let's grab some of that lovely, lovely carbon. Come here, you bush. You're mine. Okay, let's uh, let's just do a tree. Trees are better. You know what? I'm just going to mine it. It it it's quicker to mine, but yeah, you don't use a lot of your uh, your actual fuel. I mean, at the moment, I haven't got no modules in my multi tool, so you know what? I'm just going to punch the thing. So we go. Let's just get a load more um, carbon. You know what, chums? This is quite boring for you to watch me punching trees. So yeah, I'll be right back with you when I've finished building the base. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Ha-ha. <laughs> Take that tree. Oopsie. Well, hello there, chums. I am back from punching trees, and it is now night time. I was punching trees for quite a while. Okay, right. So let's put in a door. I want that pretty much in the middle. So, yeah, let's come out of that menu. Let's put in a door. Sweet. And, yeah, another wall. Now, this is just going to be the most simplest of shed type bases because I have none of the other base building parts at the moment. And yet, normally I'd be doing my adventure in PSVR, as you know. But at the moment, I can't do it in VR because, uh, yeah, it's a bit broken. Right, so let's head, head in here and let's put the roof on this thing. Okay, how many pieces? Oh, I, I'm, I'm out uh, in ferrite dust for the construction of that nice roof part. I can build 22 of these. You know what? I can make this look pretty at a later date, can't I? Let's just make it functional for now, chums. So it is just going to be a freaking wooden shed. It'd be nice to have just one of those nice roof parts in the middle, perhaps. But then if I do have to power this at any stage, um, it is nicer to have a flat roof. But let's see if we can get some ferrite dust. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find a rock, should it? Rocks, where are you? There's a rock. Let's punch that to death. There you go, rock, take this, you starfish. Yeah, I don't know how the starfish got all the way up here, considering that there is... Oh, great, there's no free slots in my suit infantry. Okay. Um, what shall I get rid of? Um, well, that sells for quite a fair bit, doesn't it? 800 units. No, it doesn't. Let's get rid of that, then. I do. Smash the heck out of this rock again. Lovely. I'll smash one more. Just for good measure. Take this rock, you. Okay, can I make one now? Yes, I can. Let's go stick that on. And that would complete my base. Oh, I haven't got that much on my jetpack. Silly me. Just bust my legs. I nearly took half my energy. Ouch. Okay, right, so here we are. Let's put that in. Pow! We have built a base, lovely as it is. Right, so base computer. Let's go see what this has to say. Sweet. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry as follows. Blah blah blah. Construction largely success. Recover salvage data from nearby plans logs. Extract plans. Brilliant. Hopefully this was going to give me the uh, base... Com yep, it has. It's giving me the little construction unit thing. I need magnetised ferrite, which I believe I can just uh, chuck my ferrite dust inside a portable refiner, which I think I've got one. Is it out in the field already? Nope, there it is. Awesome. And if I go over to this, stick some fuel in, put in that. I should have used condensed carbon, really. And then um, if I put in... What did I need? Magnetised ferrite. Is that what I needed? I can't remember now. Oh well, we'll get some magnetized ferrite anyway. Stick that in there. What did I need for it? I needed magnetized ferrite. I did indeed. I need 20. And how much did I get? I got 33. Perfect, Mondo. Right, so let's um, go build one of those. In I go. And I'll put it in this corner over here. Let's put it right by the door because it doesn't take up much space. There we are. And here we go. 
Let's see what we can put in here. Let's see what we can get analysis wise. Okay, so we can get a base terminus. Brilliant. And we can unlock all of these. I need to go dig up some salvageable tech. When I access this, what else did it say? I think it has two menus, two separate ones, which is different. I'm not used to that. Research structures or technology. Okay, so you can go into structures too and look at all of that. And you can actually press L and R1 to go through them all. Fantastic. Okay. Brilliant. Right, so we need to go dig up a load of salvage technology. So if I bring up my scanner, the salvageable technology, it looks like a little Wi-Fi signal on a shield. But I'm not actually seeing there any anything there at all. I'm going to have to go yonder and explore, yet Exo has just told me that there is a storm incoming. Exo, do you know roughly how long this storm may last, chum? Right. Okay, so it may last until morning, which isn't too far off. Okay, well, let's go take shelter in my ship, and we will um, weather out this storm. Let's just go inside. There we go. The rain has just started coming down. I'll reconvene with you guys in a bit. Okay, see you soon. Hello there, chums. Well, the storm has subsided, um, but yeah, it's not quite morning yet, so Exo was slightly out on his, um, his prediction there. Well, I don't think it's far off. And there's some buried technology over there. So that's what the icon looks like. So I'm heading towards that as we speak. So let's head over there now. Oh, I still can't do the melee jump strife thing. As I would have been there in like two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, right. Oh, I didn't even know lambs had tails. So who, who knows? I mean, they've got tiny little, tiny little, tiny things, haven't they? But I wouldn't even class that as a tail. It's more of a stump. I've probably got just as big a tail as them. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Right, okay. Let's head on over here. And we're not too far now from the actual uh, dig site. So I'm going to need my terrain manipulator. Luckily I have one installed. In fact, I believe I dug up some of this technology in the previous episode. So yeah, this should add to my current stash. But I do need a lot more of this. So I'm going to be digging this one up. And then using my own time to go dig up a load more. And then I'll reconvene with you in a bit. So here we go. Let's dig this up. Here we go. Hopefully that's going to give me the tech that I'm after. Sweet. Thanking you. Excellent. How many did I get? Sometimes you can get more than just one in one. There you go. Two. It's giving me two. Okay. That's not very generous, but it's random. Sometimes you can get like five or six. I believe five is the top, so I'm not too sure actually. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to go get a load more of it. Howdy doody. Right, I've got some tips for you. If you're not in VR mode, you can actually use camera mode. Now, if you're on your own, it pauses. See the creatures have stopped moving? But not only that, if I move up into the air, I should be able to see glowing spots. So over there, it looks like an orangey type of colour. So that's going to be my hazard protection plant, whereas the bright red ones, hopefully, are going to be like oxygen. So if you are stuck, if you are looking for resources to replenish your hazard protection or your life, just uh, go into uh, photo mode and you should be okay in finding stuff. Look, there's a purple glowing thing over there. I wonder what that is. Bizarre. I'm not even sure what that is. I think it's a blue one actually, Chums. But against the red grass, it looks purple. Yep, so that's a good way of finding out what's around you. So there you go. There's a little tip for you. Awesome. Okay, right. So I'm still looking for this buried technology, Chums. There's not any near my base, so I'm going to head over this way, and I'm going to be looking for more of the barrier technology. Oh, these plants as well, chums. If you pick up these, I've already picked those ones, but inside my infantry now, you can see my bar down at the bottom left. Uh, normally you can anyway. But yeah, if your, um, your life is getting short, you can just eat some of these. You can eat them now by pressing square on them, and it will replenish your um, life support system there you go recharged only marginal but it can get you out of a bit of a bind so there you are two little tips for you um exo do you have any tips my little chum if you're going on long excursions be sure to take your removable tank with you such as safe points or portable refiners okay yeah so that's it yeah here's tip any removable or portable tech is portable so you can take it with you so i should have brought one of my portable refiners with me maybe um, but then I don't have many slots inside of my um, exosuit. So yeah, that's a nice little tip, exo. Nice one. Thanking you. All right, so let's have a look see if there's any... Um... 
salvageable tech around here. Now, to be honest, chums, I like to do this on planets where there's water because there's less land mass and you usually find that you get things a lot more clumped together like knowledge stones and the salvageable tech and harvestable plants. If you find a planet that has water, you're more likely to come across it in larger clumps in smaller areas of vicinity. So yeah, this is not the ideal planet for looking for salvageable tech or knowledge stones. Okay, I will see you guys in a bit. See you for now. Bye -bye. Well, hello there chums, I'm back at base and I have had no luck in finding salvageable tech. Um, none at all. So let's just go see what I can unlock using the salvageable tech. I, I don't really see the point in getting the um, the portal yet, I don't think. Let me um, see what the base, see what it says first. Let's just leave there. Let's just make sure that the mission doesn't tell me to get a certain part. Okay, so expand your base with additional base components, construct a research unit, component, extra, okay. Okay, it doesn't say that I've got to build anything in particular, so I think I can unlock whatever I want. So let's um, let's go for more research structures, and I'm going to go for maybe the the glass. Brilliant. And I'm going to go for. I probably would like to actually have the portal anyway, but I don't know whether I've got enough for it. Let's have a look. Portable technology. Oh, it's only two. So yeah, we'll go for that. Fantastic. What else can I grab? Oh, I can get like a, a biofuel thing or a save beacon even. Let's get this. Let's get all the tech if we can. But I think I'm going to run out of base parts rather quickly. Because I haven't got much of this tech. we get the wire because that's free. It's a bit, bit of a pain that it kicks you out of the menu, isn't it? what else we can get okay I want the solar panel but that's eight and that's free and I've got zero now so yeah I've got whatever I can get that should have moved it on your base can be renamed and uploaded okay so let's uh, go interact with that and I can capture a screenshot of my awesome shed let's do that let's get a picture of the awesome shed in fact, that's probably what I'd call this base, is Awesome Shed. Right, there we go. Uh, yep, we can name it. I'll just call it Shed. NMSA Shed. NMSA Shed. Yeah, because that's all it is. Right, upload base. Fantastic. Now the world can see my creation and bask in its glory. It's awe. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Done! Right, so saying I need to um, gather some ferrite dust to make some metal plaques, or metal plates, sorry. Okay, well let's do that, and let's build out the uh, teleporter, even though I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it works until you've uh, teleported like three times. Let's just smash that with this. Yeah, I can recharge my mining beam, I guess, with the carbon. Let's do that. Let's grab some more carbon anyway. I know I need ferrite, but let's just grab some. Okay, well, I get all the uh, things I need to build the teleporter, and I'll reconvene with you once I've done that. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, chums, well, I have built myself a thing, a warp thing. I've built a teleporter. That's what I've built. A <laughs> warp thing. Oh my god, all my days. I still come out with some pretty noobish stuff at times, don't I, chums? I really do. Yeah, okay, cool. Excellent, I've built a warp thing. There you go. Teleporter. Done. However, um, it doesn't actually have power. So, let's see if I can put down something to give it a bit of power. So, if I go into technology, and I go into power, I should be able to build one of these if I make another metal plate. So, yeah, let's go, go get some more metal plating. So, I just need ferrite dust for that. So, here we go. Mm, -dum -dum -dum. I only need 50, I believe, to create a metal plate. Okay, how much is this going to give me? Got 10 so far. 12. Okay, oh, got a geodude. These geodes, these are pretty good. I call them geodudes all the time, but they're just geode. 
I'm too into my Pokemon for my own freaking good. Okay, right, so let's uh, craft a metal plate. And now I should be able to place down one of these uh, little doohickeys to give us power. A biomass thing. Okay, so I can just stick that somewhere over out the way. Let's put it there. Kapow. And I should have wire as well. So wire, wire, wire. There we are. And I can just connect this to this. Lovely jubbly. And then I can power this up by simply interacting with it. Now it takes a lot to power these things. I'm going to put the condensed carbon in. But look, it's only going to give it a little bit of power. At the moment I don't think it's actually working. Because I haven't actually... Oh, looks like I can. I can go straight up to the uh, station. So we're going to go to the station, I guess. Let me just check my mission. Let's just make sure that my mission hasn't actually been um, updated. Explore the planet and expand your base. Okay, well I do want to do that, but the thing is, is those modules, there's not many on this planet at all. So I want to fly to a planet that has uh, water. Oh, okay. Really? Alright, well this hasn't happened before. So they have changed all the beginning iteration. So let's pick this up, let's see what it gives me. Sweet. From the space station. Okay, I've got to go up to the space station. Okay, we have reached their end. It seems that there is nothing more. I'd learn... Okay. I have to go up to the space station. Right, okay, cool. Well, let's take one of these with me. I'll leave one down here at the base. And we'll take this one with me. Fantastic. So there is one just over there as well by my ship. Okay, right. So let's go up to the station. Let's just use this before it runs out of fuel. Okay, current system, that's the base. This is the one I want to go to. There we are. Fantastic! I see you in the space station, chums. I'm in the space station. That is freaking awesome. Before you had to warp four, three times before that would become active. Okay, so things to do up in the space station. You can get cartography map points from this chap, but I'm not going to bother. Um, he's your um, embassy, but uh, you really unlock stuff from him as you do missions. So this is the missions agent here. He may not give me missions at this stage because I haven't learned any of the lingo or raised my status with any of them. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to let me do any missions at this stage, which is fine. Over here I want to sell a few things, but first I need to investigate this mysterious signal. So let's talk to these guys. Okay. Right. Cool. I'm looking for one that says 1616 at this stage. Ask about 16. Nope. Nothing, nothing from him. Okay, so now these guys move around. It's quite difficult to track the ones that you've spoken to. So yeah, it's just trial and error really, Jams. Okay, repeat 16. Yeah, oh, there we go. I've unlocked a code from him. Right, brilliant. Hopefully that's going to move us on already on the uh, mission. Second one, that's that's good. Log coordinates. Fantastic. All right. Okay, brilliant. <coughs> right here, I don't know why it came up with that. Hello, chum. Now you can learn words off of the creatures up on this planet, or on the station as well. So all you do to do that, I mean, if you want to learn a Corvax word, you need to give them copper. Now, I don't know whether I have much, or I do have some copper, so he should teach me one of his words now. Thank you. Give me a trade symbol. Thanks, buddy. Right, so let's go over to this, and let's um, sell a load of the stuff that I don't need in my inventory slots. There is a mission later on where you need, like, um, 95,000 units to buy four or five um, circuit boards. I can't remember the exact number. But yeah, I need to get my units over the 95,000. So let's just sell a few things and see if I can achieve that. I'm only going to get 1,000 something for that. Not much from those. Okay, I don't have anything else that's going to fetch me a great deal. The chromatic metal is always nice to have to build bases and things. I don't really want to sell anything else. 
So I'm not far away from that total, so it shouldn't be too difficult once I get the mission. Okay, right. So other things you can do in the station is as well as selling things, you can buy things. So there's things that I like to buy when I first start out. I like to have at least five of these on me because they put back up your life support if you ever get stuck. And I also like to have five of these when I'm first starting out. When I haven't got decent modules, that gives you hazard protection. So I like to always have those with me just to keep myself safe. And it's always nice to look at the other stuff. There they are. That's what I need. I need like four of them, I think. So what's that? Actually, it might be five. It's five. Ninety-five thousand. That's what I'm saving up for because it's part of a future mission. Well, it used to be. I don't know whether it is now, but I imagine it is. Oh, look. There's a beautiful red and yellow high-tier fighter that just flew out there, chumps. You can tell it's high-tier because it's got those um, sort of like runners that run down the side of it. Like rails, I think people call them. Okay, so over this side of the um, the station is another Galactic Trade Terminal Interface, which a lot of people overlook. It's just through these doors over here. And they all have them, so if you don't find what you want for sale in one, always check the opposite side. Because this one sells completely different stuff. So, yep, let's just scan down. It's like Mango Gold. That was not in the opposite side, which is awesome. Uh, Mango Gold is quite good, I believe, for turning into gold, and then, um, I don't know actually, I don't know where Mango Gold you can. But let's uh, grab this as well, this is Nanites, so you will need Nanites at a later date. You don't get many out of these, normally, but I got 63 out of that one. Wow, that's a lot more than you normally get. Hello there, my little chum. Okay, now sometimes, if you see a species of creature that doesn't seem to be... In the right one for the station. So over there there was more Viking than anything. If you see one that's out of place, like a, a Gek, or you see somebody else that's out of place, like a Vi over here because Viking is hard to say, but sometimes they will give you a multi-tool and they give you it for free. Um, so it's always worth talking to them in the first couple of stations. I'm going to point towards the warriors, I'm going to back them. I'll make him happy. Cool. And he just gave me a bolt caster module there. That's going to come in handy. And, uh, yeah, request dialect help. Right, okay, cool. Now, if I did have an Atlas Pass 1, I should be able to get in the door down there. Um, but I don't, so I can't get in there at the moment. Um, but, yeah, sometimes there's useful things in there. Okay, so where's this module that he just gave me? There it is there. Boltcaster module. Now, I can install that. I could put it there if I really wanted to. However, I would like to trade in this um, multi-tool at some stage. So I'm not going to install it yet. But that's going to take up a slot in my valuable infantry space, which I don't really want it taken up, to be honest. But there is also a multi-tool vendor here, and he will offer multi-tools. But they're going to be at a ridiculous amount of money that you're probably not going to have in early game. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to leave that where it is. What you can do, I mean, there's modules for pretty much everything up here, so just be sure to check out the vendors, is go to the suit upgrade and see if I can get an extra slot. So, yeah, I'm going to do this one for now. And we'll have that. Thank you very much. And you can only do that once per station. So, yeah, not great. But, yeah, if, uh, the more you jump, the more you do things, the better it is. There's usually navigational data up here as well, but I don't really need it at this stage. And I found some on a planet anyway. I've got five modules, so that's all good. Right, so that's my time in the station, covered off. And yeah, I'm hitting milestone after milestone, so that's all great, so fantastic. Right, I'm going to go and find myself some berry technology on a neighbouring planet of the one that I've called home, and I will see you next time for another episode. Take care for now. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed all the tips. See you next time. Thank you and a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much there guys. And if you want to see your name at the end of one of my videos like this one, there is a tier for that. It's £1.50 per month to appear on my Patreon. And yeah, but there are other tiers as well. So there's one there for £5 a month which will get you on the tier for 3D ship models. And I'm hoping to get once I get a 3D printer from all the funds from Patreon. And I'll be shipping those out to people that have backed me on Patreon once or twice a year depending on whereabouts you are in the world and yes i'm slowly but surely heading towards my goal which is about 400 pounds so thank you very much the music for my videos was made by nerve 
Nerve is fantastic, please go check him out, he's on my featured channels list on my channel. OK, so I now have my own website which is www.nmsa.yolosite.com Please check it out, on there you'll find merch including t-shirts, mugs, thermos, flasks and all sorts of other wonderful gnarly stuff. So yeah, please go check out my merch. And yes, and also on the site I make watch faces for Android devices. And they're free! If you could please hit like and subscribe, or even one of these links that's on the screen now and stay with Captain Stephen Exo, and a little bit longer. Thank you for watching, bye!